Hey guys, it's Chef Jason Morse, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. As you can see, we are back in the barbecue trailer for another edition of Ace This Recipe. I love it in here. It's quiet. It's peaceful. No one's bothering me. I get to just hang out me and this turkey. Today, the turkey and I, we're talking all about injecting. That's right. We've got all the gear you need. We are going to talk a couple recipes today to give you some injection methods, which is another fun way to add some more flavor to your turkey, enhancing it really from package to the plate. You know our goal is to make you that legend this uh, thanks grilling with your family. This is another tip to do that. So let's stop messing around, stop horsing around. Let's get cooking. Okay, let's do a fun little overview just to kind of show you what we have. We have our turkey already prepped and ready to go. Like we've talked about before, this turkey has naturally retained water, nothing else. It doesn't have a solution. It doesn't have a brine yet. So we're really going to get to do everything flavor-wise from start to finish. Then I have a little bit of chicken stock. That's going to be the carrier for a lot of our flavor. I have a little bit of butter because I want that butter to go into that cold turkey and just stick and, and, and uh, congeal and really hold even more of that in there. Then a little bit of rub-a-dub. That's going to add that garlic, onion, tomato, a little bit of sweetness as well. Uh, we've got quite a lot of different injection tools for you. Uh, we have the Bayou Classic syringe. We've got the awesome grill mark injector as well. We've got another uh, grill mark injector. And then if you want to go warp speed, we've got the big stainless steel one as well. All are going to do a fantastic job. We went with the Bayou Classic today, a simple syringe with a needle. The cool thing about this, if you can see this, we have a hole on this side of the needle. And if you rotate it, a hole on that side. So that's going to allow a little bit bigger granules to get through here and get us started. But that's pretty simple, right? We have a bird. We have the ingredients for our injection method. Next, we're going to show you how to make the injection method. And then it's time, inject the bird. Okay, we've started off. We've added about uh, 12 ounces of chicken stock. We're going to add a stick of butter. Just let that melt. What we're going to do is bring that chicken stock up. Let that butter melt and now these guys will come together and we'll have just a beautiful solution to inject. Again, I'm going to use Rub-A-Dub today because it gives us that garlic, onion, salt, pepper, all of that. Now, remember the chicken stock is salted. The butter is salted. So we've got a good amount there. I'm just going to add a little bit of Rub-A-Dub and you can add as much or as little as you want. But I added about four, eh, about four tablespoons total to this mixture. As you can see there, that butter is melting along quite nicely. And I don't want this to come to a boil. So what I may do as that piece of butter gets a little bit smaller, we may actually go ahead and shut the burner off and let that residual heat finish the rest. Uh, that way I know I have a warm solution, not a boiling hot solution. So we'll go ahead and shut this off. We'll let that residual heat finish. Next up, we're gonna get ready to get this injection into that turkey, show you how we do that, and add just a great amount of flavor to our Thanks Grilling Turkey. This injection solution is done. What I'm gonna do now is slowly draw this up into my syringe. Not going too crazy, but just wanna get enough up there. Now, a lot of different ways uh, to inject this. I always like to start in the lower parts uh, of the turkey breast, get a little bit of that injection in there. You'll actually see it start to swell a little bit. I want to pull the needle out slowly. You're going to get a little bit of liquid that comes out, but the beauty of that butter is we put that butter in there to help kind of congeal so we don't lose a ton. All right, and then you'll see I'm just going kind of in a, in a pattern, if you will. Get that all set and ready to go. And then I'll come back again and go in between. And basically what we're doing is making some pretty beautiful little pockets of solution in here, right? And that's gonna add a lot of flavor. Again, we've got that butter and we've got that rub-a-dub as well. So let's get this guy in here. Go a little bit more that way. All right, so now I'm gonna repeat that process, right? And I'm gonna go back and forth, back and forth across both lobes of the breast because I really want to get that breast meat injected. But I'm also going to get down into the legs and thighs and get those guys going as well. So again, put the, the needle in, push down on it, give it a chance to kind of distribute and then take the needle out. I don't want to pull it out right away. I want that brine to do its thing, uh, injection to do its thing and get in there. So that guy going 
and we'll get that one going as well. You can already see, see that shiny sticky right there? That's the butter congealing. That is exactly what we're looking for. So I'm gonna keep going on this. Drop a little bit more here. Let that guy hang out. And do the same there as well. All right, now it's time to get into that thigh, and I'm going to do the same thing down into that thigh as well. Again, inject the needle in there. See that swell up a little bit? I'm going to put a lot down there and let that stuff just kind of hang out. Give that chance to kind of do its thing. And you see if you take your time, uh, it doesn't want to come right out. That butter is kind of cooling off and sticking in there. We'll do another nice little shot in the thigh as well. So this is basically one whole syringe in this thigh. Uh, and then I've got about a syringe in the leg and I'll use a couple syringes in each breast. But at the end of the day, this entire solution is going to go into this turkey. So I wanna do the breast, get in again, like I said, multiple sites. So I've got nice little pockets of flavor everywhere. Get in that leg, nice pockets everywhere. And you can see we got a nice little bit of that injection sitting in there. But Quick and painless, right? Very easy. That is the injection method that's gonna really give you a lot of flavor. Pretty simple, pretty easy, right? Again, the beauty of this injection, this is a great way to add an insurance policy to your turkey, right? And that insurance policy is you're adding a lot of flavor and a lot of moisture. You can see how any of the butter that has weeped out has already started to get hard on this turkey. Uh, and that's what we want. Nice cold turkey, a lukewarm solution, and we are set to go. And we injected, again, multiple sites in the breast, both breast lobes, uh, in the legs, in the thighs, to really plump that bird up. We went with a bird that just had that 6% naturally retained water. Can you use this on a bird that has 8 to 10 to 12% solution? Absolutely. What I would do, and I'll put it down in the notes as well, unsalted butter, low sodium chicken stock, and a little bit less rub because then you're not adding salt on top of salt on top of salt. Pretty quick, pretty painless, uh, and this is a great, like I said, awesome, awesome insurance policy. Hey, don't forget to head up to that eye. That's our information station. That'll tell you uh, what needles we use, what injectors we use, uh, what pots and pans, rubs, everything, gear, gadgets, and grills. And then don't forget to head below to the comment section and leave us a comment. Tell us what you'd like to hear, what would you like to see, and how can we be more helpful? You know our goal as always is to make you a legend in the backyard cooking circuit. And for sure, this thanks grilling, we want you to be the hero at the dinner table. Then while you're down there, hey, your family gathering is a perfect time to let everybody know to subscribe to the Ace Hardware YouTube channel. Click that bell, hit that notification, and you'll be ready when the next Ace This Recipe video and more is live and ready for your drooling pleasure. Then, hey, if injection isn't for you, if the injection method, you're thinking, nah, maybe not this time, I wanna stick with a straight brine, don't worry about it. At the end of this video, click on the link and watch our brining video as well. We've got a lot of awesome content coming for you. Thank you so much for hanging out and cooking with us. We appreciate it and we hope you do as well. I'm Chef Jason Morse, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. Happy Thanks Grilling.